New feature found in MarkEdit 5.6 is what I'm calling MarkEdit's IntelliSense, or essentially autocomplete, for the mnemonics that are found in the MarkEdit application. As of MarkEdit 5.6, there's been a number of new mnemonics added to the application, and in order to make it easier for people to find the mnemonic that they want to use, a helper has been added to the application. By default, this is turned on. So if a user is in MarkEdit, and we have a file open, or not, but we have, we have a file that's open in MarkEdit, um, and we want to enter in um, a mnemonic to stand in for a diacritic because we're working with a Mark 8 file. Previously, you'd have to know what the mnemonic name was. Um, now, when you're working in MarkEdit, if you enter in the left bracket, this pop-up box shows up and it'll autocomplete. So if I was looking for an A with a grave, I would type in my A and grave, and then I can go ahead and hit enter, and it'll autocomplete the rest of the, the, app, the, the mnemonic that I was looking for. If you look, you'll see that in most of the text within the pop-up, there's an example of what the diacritic represents in Unicode. This is done to help make it easier to choose. Um, you'll find that not all of them are have representation though, things like a joiner where it's a zero with joiner and it's very difficult to represent as a uh, Unicode character for um, explanation purposes doesn't show up but is explained exactly what the, the diacritic means. If you start typing um, and you decide that you don't want to put a diacritic in, just hit the escape button and the pop-up window goes away. If, for example, you're using primarily UTF-8 data, Unicode data, and you don't want to have that pop-up box show up, that's okay. Um, like most features in MarkEdit, this one is customizable. When you open up the MarkEdit preferences and you go to um, the Mark Editor window, there's a check button that says Enable AutoSense. Um, check it if you want to use it. It'll be checked by default. Uncheck it if you don't. If you uncheck it, then the next time you open up the Mark Editor and you start typing, you'll see that the mnemonic box doesn't pop up any longer. Okay, that's the new Mark Edit um, autocomplete IntelliSense function, and uh, hopefully that'll uh, make working with mnemonics a little bit easier.